I wasn't going to say anything about this subject because it's incredibly complex, I'm not a legal expert and nobody seems to really understand it. But since I've started seeing articles about how it's going to be illegal to take photographs in public in Germany after the 25th of May, perhaps I should. I mean, this is going to worry a lot of tourists. Not only that, but if true, it means that I won't be able to make any more of my travel videos. I'll have to spend the rest of my YouTube career sitting in front of a camera talking about places that I've been to. And put the blind down on the window behind me. This is about something called the General Data Protection Regulation, a European Union directive. Member states have to harmonise their individual data protection laws, which on the face of it is not a bad idea. Any company or organisation that collects and processes data about people must conform to the new rules, which is a pain for them because it means that they have to update all their computer systems and retrain all their staff. That's why if you live in the EU you'll have noticed recently social media sites asking you to confirm that you have read their updated terms and privacy policies. What does this have to do with photography and video? Well, a modern digital camera doesn't just take a photograph. It also includes information about the date, time and GPS coordinates. Using this information, which is stored as part of the data file itself, it becomes possible to tell exactly who was at that exact place at that exact time. That means that digital photography is a form of data collection, and so photographers are subject to the same rules. Take a photograph that happens to have people in it and upload it to Facebook, and you're breaking the law unless you have the permission of everybody in the photo. This is obviously a problem for free speech, and so the directive comes with several clauses that national governments are free to change or to override in the interests of free speech. And most governments have done so. One government that hasn't is Germany's. So this new regulation has come into force in Germany in its pure, undiluted form. I say has because it has in fact been in force for the last two years. It's just that member states have had until now to actually implement it. So is street photography now illegal? OK, look, I have read countless articles and blog posts about this and many of them seem to me to be unnecessarily alarmist. According to them, it is now really, really illegal unless you get the written permission of literally everybody who happens to be in the photo. Well, technically, maybe. In actual fact, no. Honestly, no. Although I should reiterate at this point that I'm not a legal expert and can only give my opinion. First of all, you are not going to be arrested if you take out your phone and point it in the general direction of somewhere where some people are. That's not how this is going to work. Instead, somebody will have to actually file a complaint alleging that you violated their privacy, but that in fact has always been the case. These new rules do make it much easier to get privacy invading material off the web, but I doubt that you'll find a German court prepared to rule that this constitutes a violation of anyone's privacy. It's like the debate about dash cams. The problem wasn't the dash cams, and dash cams were never ruled illegal. The problem was the misuse of dash cams to publicly name and shame specific individuals in a case of vigilante justice. Incidentally, the most alarmist of these articles mourned the loss of freedom of panorama, but that's a telltale sign that the writer doesn't know what he's talking about. Freedom of panorama has nothing to do with data protection. It's about copyright infringement. Freedom of panorama is completely irrelevant here and totally unaffected. In summary, I am a little nervous about this, but I'm not losing sleep over it. Talk of outlawing street photography is, I think, nonsense. It's unfortunate that the German government has spent the last two years doing absolutely nothing about this, and we'll have to wait for the first court cases to come in before we get any clarity on the issue. As for me, I'm going to continue making my videos. If it helps, my camera doesn't record GPS coordinates, and the process of rendering removes all the timestamps. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.